She's in cardiac arrest. Start compressions. Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Don't look straight into the light, pal. You'll hurt your eyes. It's just something you get used to down here. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to Daddy. You can do it. There you go. My goodness. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. These experiments don't be a task. The experiment to prepare. Prepare is hard. Of course, please. Such a surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your mother... Congratulations, young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well... You're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. Gross! I didn't think you even liked girls. And you know what I mean, before you say something rude about me. I guess maybe I should give this to someone else. Someone who likes Grognak the Barbarian better than me and Christine. The question is, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> oh, man, you... What a pit boy. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously. Right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. What, are you two best friends now? Hey, Wally, I think Paul's gone soft on us. Attention, everyone. Yeah. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. 
goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. Now, Paul, why don't you introduce us to your new best friend? Daddy, wait! And I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. I do not allow the fact that Amata is my daughter to compromise my position as overseer. I gave her all the appropriate paternal encouragement, of course, but I could not contribute extra vault resources. That is simply what my position requires. No more, no less. I know Amata understands that perfectly well. <laughs> Oh, no. Hey, I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. I am You're gonna be sorry. You... about the cake in his hat. Simply mortified. Butch, Enjoying what do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. Nice pit bull. All right, son. What is that? Come on, he didn't hurt you. Help? I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? Why, that little... I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day he was born. You let me handle this and try to stay out of the way. 3,000 A models. All right, Butch. What pe What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. God, he really is a butthead. Oh, well. You can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. Get it? <laughs> Some junk. I'm hey, to wind it up. How do you like that pit boy, son? Fit all right and everything? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday. Not much, but I hope you like it. Gomez, nice party, huh? Can't. This party's pretty good, I guess, for a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. I've had it with you, Butch. You Your mother is going to hear about this little incident. <laughs> what did he tell you? It was my I know fault. you were joking. You didn't hear what he said to me. I'm not going to tolerate any more. Big deal. Are we Thanks done? For coming, Stanley. For now, just remember, I'm keeping my eye on you. What about the tunnel? Everything's fine. You and your snakes and rats. Oh, and sure, nothing to worry about. Me and Andy got Shut her up and let me again think last of me. night. Good as new. So, I wasn't what do you worried. think we should call our gang? You can fix it's gotta be Jonas? Tony Killer, though. Anyway, hey, I'm hey, glad you can see it out here. Get it? Who wants to go around all day being called a vote How are you enjoying it? Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. I think you really are as dumb. I help with the decorations, you know. Oh. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem. 
just for you. I hope you like it. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. <laughs> you sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Easy now. It's only a BB gun, but it's not a toy. Let's go try it out. Jonas and I have found a nice spot for you. Follow me. Good work. That's one less round roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunt. Smile! As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. Take care, son. Now get out of here, and good luck. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Get out of- Don't hey! mess with the tunnel snake! <laughs> Come on, tunnel snakes! This little bitch isn't worth our time. Thanks for getting rid of them. Snakes rule! Well, you made it. Didn't work on your dad either, did it? Now, unless you have- Listen. So here's what I'm going- Let's go. If you have a chance, you will go for these results. Anything is possible. Even an A. Dad, Mr. Cross. He is saved now. Is he? He is getting back to work. Selfish and insolent is just now. You need to know this. Wake up! Come on, wake up! You're going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up!
Don't be a smart mouth. This is serious. My father's men are looking for you. They've already killed Jonas. You've got to get out of here. It's your dad. He's left the vault. My father thinks Jonas helped him escape. So he had his men. My God, they killed him. They just beat him and beat him and wouldn't stop. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend. But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. Not anymore, apparently. But are you honestly telling me you had no idea your dad was leaving? He really didn't tell you? Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. There he is. Hold it right there! Any more roaches? No. You got to help me. No, I can't go back. Oh my god! Thank you! I didn't know what to do! You are the best! I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. Where did those things come the from? Rat roach infestation is under control. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found it. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. should just go back to our quarters. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. Oh! Be <laughs> sorry! You shouldn't have tried to run. Ooh. Ooh.
you. This is your fault. You and your stupid father. He had to go and leave, didn't he? He had to mess things up for everybody. I told you, I don't know anything. There he is. You like that? Oh! So we can talk to him. He's my friend. I was worried about him. What does he have to do with any of this anyway? I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. What's the matter, huh? Can't stand the sight of your own blood? I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. Oh, is that all? Is there anything else I can get you while you're here? You'll get nothing from... My God, you're a cold-blooded little shit, aren't you? I think you'd actually do it. Here, take them and leave the vault. I'll have you shot on sight if you ever come back. you. I told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. Oh my god, you actually opened it! You did it! You opened the door! My god, I almost didn't believe it was possible. <sighs> You're right, I should have never doubted you. Goodbye. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry. For, you know, Jonas and my father and everything. I know you turn up soon.
Ah, welcome, weary traveler. Well, one. Tell me what you need, and maybe I've got your fix. Another satisfied customer? Welcome to Megaton. The bomb is I'll be damned. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sin. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? What about it? I don't trust any of the locals. And hell. That's pretty steep. Uh, fine. Uh, do it and you'll get your money. Don't screw up, though, or we'll all regret it. the clouds and every I shall be blind with I'll be damned you did it didn't you you disarmed that thing here's your reward hell why don't you move in could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Attend now to the words of the prophet of Atom. Come forth and drink the waters of the glow. For this ancient...
Come on, you piece of junk. Hey, smooth skin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Well, now. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. I was like you once. I wandered into town looking for an escape from this stupid joke of a body I'm trapped in. Now look at me. Very well. Moriarty keeps a computer terminal in the back. On it, he keeps all of the goings on in Megaton. If you can get onto that terminal, I'll bet he has information on your dad. Now get away from me, smooth skin. If Moriarty even suspects I told you this, I'm a dead... Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the cops to pay for the information then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Who said anything about dirty work? You need some caps, and I'm giving you a way to get them. It's just business. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me, claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> ah, a little bit of caps for so much information. 